ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Marion County High School here at the Roby Dome for tonight's fifth region boys championship game. Tonight's ball game has the 29 and 2 LaRue County Hawks taking on the 27 and 7 John Harden Bulldogs. I am Bobby Thompson and as always joined by the coach Chris Quarter and coach Quarter. This is what we expected all season long where these two teams the matchup and what do you kind of expect out of tonight's ball game? Well, you know, it kind of depends on which LaRue County team shows up. Is it the team that we saw in December when, you know, John Harden jumped out on early? kind of put them away and never was much of a game at John Harden or is it the team we the Rue County team we saw just take apart E-Town about three weeks ago uh, you know I think it really comes down to can does Lure, how does Rue County try to guard Pearson you know do they do they match up do they throw some junk at him you know John Harden's gotten to where they're pretty successful when when teams throw a box and one triangle and two that sort of thing against John Harden because they've got other guys that can score um, you know, I think, honestly, if I were LaRue County, I, th I think I'd play a man. I, they've got some bodies there with with Cox, um, you know, and even King to some point could guard him out on the perimeter because we don't see Pearson go to the post much. Um, I think an X factor in this game is Alex Matthews. If he goes like he normally does and he can have 15 points, 8 or 10 rebounds, John Hart's going to have a really good chance to win the ball game. But Pearson cannot win this game by himself. Um, he needs, you know, they need some contributions from Wright, Matthews, uh, Walker. You know, I think Scott, it, it just, I watched him warm it up. This is a different, a little bit of different environment to shoot because you've got stands behind one of the goals and then you've got a stage behind the other goal. So the depth perception is a little bit different. But this being their third game down there, down here, we'll kind of see. They got up to a sluggish start last night against Campbellville. Talked to Coach Austin Jones, one of Coach McCurry's assistants for the game. He said a good start for them is key tonight. And for the Bulldogs, talk about their main three players. Mickey Pearson comes in averaging 26 points and 11 rebounds. Malik Walker averaging 15 points a night. And Alex Matthews averaging a double-double with 10 points and 10 boards. Main players for LaRue County, Shane King comes averaging 12 points per ball game. Anthony Atkins with 13 points and seven rebounds. Mark Good averaging 14 points and seven rebounds along with Dallas Cox, who averages nine points per night. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCCTV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, eTownApartments.com, Bluegrass Cellular, eTown Exterminating, and West Point Bank. Here we have our starting lineups. First for the Bulldogs, it'll be the same team we've seen all season. Malik Wright, Aaron Scott, Mickey Pearson, Alex Matthews, and Ja'Kai Walker for the Hawks. It'll be the same lineup they've had all year. Shane King, Noah Davis, Anthony Atkins, Dallas Cox, and Mark Good. And this is what we have waited for. You are playing for this berth in the Sweet 16. They will face the 15th region champion, which will either be Johnson Central or Pikeville, next Wednesday the 14th at 8 p.m. Pearson and Good at midcourt to do the jump. And John Harden will control the opening tip. Walker will run the point most of the night for the Bulldogs. Lurie opens man to man. Pearson gets it almost like a runner at the free throw line. No good. Scott came in, had the rebound, loses it, and it'll go over to the Hawks. Ball going out of bounds. John Harden looks like just straight man-to-man -man pressure. Shane King will run the point most of the evening for the Hawks. Uh, while most point guards aren't scorers, Shane King is definitely a scorer from that point guard position. Hawks down to good. Good baby hook in the lane. No good. Gets his own rebound. Gives it up to Cox, a floater there, gets the roll in the first two points of the night for the Hawks. And again, you saw right away, Larue County feels like they got an advantage with good, with Matthews guarding him and went straight to the block there. One of the things we didn't talk about were foul trouble. John Harden with just four players on their bench and three of them will play a lot. Pearson into the lane, scoop shot no good. Actually, it's going to go off Pearson as he was standing out of bounds and over to the Hawks. Pearson a little slow coming out of that. He got hit in the head there on that drive. He's, neither one of those I would call great shots. Uh, you know, 
at least he's going to the basket there. But these eighth region officials have quickly, quickly got a uh, reputation as they're going to let you play as Mark Good. I believe he's got blood. He's pointing at his hand. Looks like a, maybe his nose. So we will wait and see what Coach Childress does here. And it might have been that he and Pearson hit together. 6.47 to go here in our opening quarter. 2-0 the score, LaRue County on top. And this is kind of a rule change. They give you so much time if they can get the blood stopped, but let's see Ballingate get up off the bench. Here's the one thing, Ballingate brings in size that is not just normal. I mean, he is a big young man, just a sophomore. Very raw offensively, but you know, we've seen him block shots and he definitely takes up some space in the lane as John Hart comes with a little run and jump. King lost it, able to regain it. Now he's going to call a timeout. As it was Bright and Walker putting the pressure on him. A 30-second timeout. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Etownapartments.com by Mark construction bluegrass cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere etown exterminating 270-737-6900 and west point bank let us help make life simpler hometown banking made simple it is a packed house here at the roby dome uh, we showed up an hour before game time and it looked like the root county side was already full and uh, John Harden has brought in a couple of pet buses and packed the other side, along with a lot of interested viewers from uh, several different fifth region schools. Good back into the lineup for the Hawks. Matthews got in front of him, tipped it away. Scott gets the steal. Matthews did a good job getting getting his a hold of Good's inside arm. wasn't allowed, wasn't able to spin there. Walker, good pass down low to Matthews, and they're all tied up. And they're paying so much attention to Pierce, and, right, and rightfully so, that it's going to open up things. A good bit of penetration there from Walker, and here comes the run and jump again. Get it inside to good. Up off the glass, it's good. And Coach McCurry urging his team. They want to play fast. And into the lane is Malik Wright. Doesn't get the roll tipped out. Scott gets the rebound, kicks to Pearson. It's three. Is good. And that's a good, a clean open look on the kick out. Scott did a good job finding him there and he knocks it down. Find good in the lane. This is off to Atkins. Atkins got the Bulldogs in the air. Missed it, but Cox with the offensive rebound and the putback. King knocks that one out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bulldogs. If John's going to run and jump like that, they're going to give up because they that's one of the one thing we've seen out of them all year when they do that. They don't rotate real well in the back. Coach Childress and his staff picked up on that, doing a good job getting the ball into the lane, out of the trap. Pearson at the elbow, turn around, it's good. Pearson now with five. King to the other end. Oh, he got bailed out there. going to be on Alex Matthews. It's his first, team's first. King will shoot two. Just bigger and stronger right there. They had Walker down on the block. And Cox just pushed him out of the way. A little three-quarter court trap from LaRue County. And King comes up and takes the ball. It'll be a jump ball. This will go over to the Hawks. And Cox here early in the game. Back-to-back -back trips with offensive rebounds and putbacks now with six points on the night. 
Nine to seven the score, 435 to go here in this opening quarter. LaRue County on top. Noah Davis in the lane, lays it off for good. They'll get fouled That's and go be, to the line. It's gonna be two on Matthews, I believe. It will be on Matthews, his second, team second. That's a big foul. I'm not sure Coach McCurry realizes that's too, but he needs to get Matthews out of the game quick. And one of the things is Morell's really the only backup that can play down low where Matthews usually is. Mark Good knocks down both of his free throws. The two three zone. Close to a five second call. Have kick. a kickball to stay with the Bulldogs. And, and that'll get Preston Morell into the lineup. And we've not seen Morell play extended minutes, but he's going to have to tonight in this game. The pace of this game, you wonder. Can he play in this game? Because this game's going up and down pretty good right now. 1-3-1 one, one look through three different defenses already. John not doing a very good job attacking it. Scott able to get it back. He'll be found by Atkins. That'll be Atkins first, teams first. Found and, that's, and, that, and that right there is the way you beat it. Uh, Larue kind of selling out, trapping right there at half court, weak in the back. Let's we'll see if they go back to good with Morrell guarding him now. 11 9, Larue County on top. 3.20 to go here in this first quarter. Davis with the entry pass to good. Goes out of bounds and over to the Bulldogs. Morrell did a good job being physical with him right there. Kendrick Weathers checks into the lineup for the Hawks. In the game on December 19th, Weathers off the bench had seven points for the Hawks. And King gets the steal there from Walker. Dallas Cox. Offensive rebound and the putback. Malik Wright to the other end. Spin move in the lane wow. is good. Good from the free throw line. No good. Pearson with the rebound. Back to the 2-3 zone for LaRue County. Right at the elbow. Oh. King going to pick up that foul. That'll be his first, team second. King has quick hands. Already with a couple of steals and a couple of deflections tonight for the Hawks. 2.16 to go here in the opening quarter. A two-point game, LaRue County on top. They get it into right underneath the basket. Looked like Good knocked it free. Pearson tracks it down. Morrell from the elbow, a turn, no good. Good with the rebound for the Hawks. Atkins will take it into the lane. He'll be found there. I believe this is going to be on Scott. It will be his first, team's third. Trayvon Harris and Darion Davis check in for the Bulldogs. And this, it'd be interesting to see if Lou County doesn't come with a little more pressure here because John Harden, two backup guards, and we've seen Davis be 
somewhat wild at times, I guess is the way to describe it. Makes a lot of plays, but sometimes doesn't make the best decisions. Atkins makes both of his free throws. Noah Davis back into the lineup for Coach Childress. Maru County equaling their largest lead of the night at four. So we have the two minute mark of this first quarter. It's back to kind of an extended two three zone here. And Harris and Davis are not the outside shooters that Walker and Scott, especially Scott Correct. is. So the Bulldogs took away a couple of their shooting opportunities. There's Pearson pulling up for three. No good. Morrell with the offensive rebound. Ball knocked away. Davis comes out with it. Quick pass ahead to good. That'll be blocked by Pearson. Davis gets it back. Ball down on the floor. Morrell gets to it. It's going to be tied up. And that'll be John Harden basketball. No, they gave John Harden a timeout, so they'll save the possession. But I think Coach McCurry, if you had to ask him right now, he'd rather have the just rather have the jump ball there. With 1:11 to go here in the opening quarter, a 30-second timeout for John Harden. This is an HCC TV student production, a division of Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, eTownApartments.com, Bluegrass Cellular, eTown Exterminating, and West Point Bank. Tune in weekly for rebroadcast of all local HCC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184, and you can always check our past broadcast on our YouTube channel. Just search HCEC TV. It'll be John Harden basketball underneath the LaRue County goal. Back to the one, and this is a big lineup LaRue County's got on the floor now. And they missed Pearson over the top right there. That one's going to be poked free by Ballingate up to Cox. Cox into the lane. Cox with double digits in the Yeah, middle. Coach Perry's got to get his yards back in the game. Because like I said, the, these guys they've got in the game right now are not shooters. Right finds Pearson down low. That was a heck of a that was a tough pass for Pearson to catch. 30 seconds to go in this quarter. Fifteen seconds to go. King now with it goes to the baseline. He'll pull up 15 footer off the back of the iron. Davis had it knocked out by Wright. Four seconds to go. Pearson sees what how much time's left. He's going to heave it from midcourt and off the backboard. And so our first quarter comes to a close. Larue County on top, 17-13 over the Bulldogs. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. eTownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at eTownApartments.com. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank has offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Online at westpointbank.com. Coach Gorder. In the first quarter, it was, you know, Dayless Cox with offensive rebounds and on that end, and Mickey Pearson finishes up with nine on the other end. But what did you notice? Uh, well, I mean, LaRue's done a good job switching their defenses, and with John with their backup guards, you know, kind of got bailed out there late. Wright made a really nice pass to Pearson to keep this game at four, but they, John's got to do a better job against the 1-3-1. They haven't been real successful against it so far. John Arden's basketball to start this quarter. Walker and Scott back into the lineup. King almost gets the steal, and that will, they're going to say it was tipped. So 
will not be over and back. Wright going to be able to get inside. Three seconds going to be called on Morrell. Turnover to the Hawks. You know, you don't often see three seconds called when a guy's driving, you know, on his way to the basket like that. John hooks up man to man, full court. See if they, and here comes Pearson, they'll run and jump again. Get it to good. Is it back to Davis? Oh. Davis walks in the lane. Turn over back to the Bulldogs. And that time you saw Ja'Kai Walker actually come underneath, or sorry, Malik Wright come underneath and get in Good's way, forcing him to pass the ball to Davis. But it looked like Davis just wasn't ready to catch it. Pearson will go baseline. It's going to be knocked out by Davis. That'll take a three. Too long, good with the rebound. Davis gonna push it up the court. Minute gone in this second quarter, no one scored yet. 17-13, LaRue County still on top. King step back three, off the back of the iron, right with the rebound. That's gonna be a block on King. It'll be a second. Second team's third, and that'll send right to the line to shoot two. Good job by Wright. First trip to the line for the Bulldogs tonight. Matthews back into the game for John Harden. See if maybe they switch defenses and play a little zone. Because if he stays on good with those two fouls, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to play soft and don't know how well that'll work out. Ballingate with that rebound. Good, just a sophomore, but lots of experience. A very good uh, forward. Coach's son, too. So he's been raised around the game. His dad coached at Meade County and at Bargetown. And in fact, up until last year, was on the staff with Coach Childress. John Harden does switch to 2 3 zone. Davis averaging one and a half, or actually two three-pointers a night, along with Shane King, who averages the same two three-pointers per evening. Six minutes to go in the uh, second quarter. Coach Childers gonna call it a different play. Skip pass to Davis, he'll take a three there. Wide, good, had it. Looks like it goes off of John Harden and it'll stay with the Hawks. Pearson did a good job closing out there. Weathers into the game for King. Good to inbound the ball. Atkins checks back into the lineup for Lower County. Actually, I take that back, Coach Good is, is on the bench still for LaRue County. Wraparound pass to, uh, to Atkins. Atkins guarding the so A high. really nice underneath out of bounds play when you got two bigs, especially one of them that can pass the ball. Atkins is just bigger in than uh, Aaron Scott, kind of pushed him around, made the basket easy. Scott, a deep three, it's good. Again, we've seen him get hot in some games and he, he will shoot it from anywhere. Back to a two point lead for the Hawks. 5-10 to go here in this first half. Try to pass it inside. Walker tips it over to Pearson. Pearson's pass to Scott too far out in front of him and right back over to the Hawks. to Davis in the corner for three. It's long. 
Weathers with the rebound. Davis into the lane. This time he passes off to Good. Blocked inside. Oh, jump ball. I don't know that either of them actually had any no. control of it. It'll stay with the Hawks. Gets into the lane. Six footer on the way off the back of the iron. Tipped out by Pearson. Walker will take a three. Walker not the scorer that King is from the point guard position. Matthews with the offensive rebound. Gives it to Scott. He'll take a three. It's long. And early here in the game, we've seen both teams yeah. shoot long on three. Everybody's pumped up and We've seen three or four air balls already on, on pretty good th looks from the three. At the midway point of this second quarter, 19-17, LaRue County on top. Atkins gonna have that knocked away by Pearson. Just a touch pass from Good down to Atkins. Good to inbound the ball for LaRue County. See if they go straight back to the play they were in last time. They tried to, and Scott did a good job getting over top there. Davis inside. That's going to be on Scott. That'll send Davis to the line. That'll be Scott's second, team's fourth. Team's fourth. Davis first trip to the line tonight. Jeremiah Belton checks into the lineup for LaRue. Coach McCurry will leave Scott in with those two fouls. Davis gets his first point of the evening. That's going to be on Atkins. That'll be his second, team's fourth. Now, Pearson sells fouls. Yeah, he, he does a good job selling fouls, and John's done a good job so far off made baskets of, get, of getting the ball down the floor quickly. This second, team four. Matthews gets it, pump fakes the pass, gets in the lane, gets the bucket. Good job finding the middle of that zone there. calls out a different play. Try to get it inside. Matthews plays over the top, tips it free. Cox picks up the ball. I believe this is going to be on Walker. That'll be his first, team's fifth. Morrell back into the lineup for Matthews. And John Harden had the steal there, and Pearson couldn't come up with it. Valengate back into... Yeah, but now they're going to stop it as Aaron Scott just ran into Mark Good, trying to get in between Good. Well, he's and allowed that Allen space. Gates. That's the thing. He he's allowed to get in there. So there's an official about to call a penalty on Scott. He just put his feet, his arms right into Good, and then picks up his third. You kind of saw that coming. Yep. From uh, that's his third team six. After this inbound, they'll be in the bonus for the next two fifty eight. Side to good, his turnaround high off the glass, no good. It's going to be a foul on Ballingate. And the one negative, if we talk about Ballingate, he said he's raw, he picks up his fouls. Uh, yeah, seen him out there two trips and pick up two fouls. 
He's a little aggressive on the defensive end. But they have that luxury because they have some depth, so. Right on the baseline, finds Morell inside, pushes it towards the basket, no good. Good with the rebound. good looks out of this 2-3 zone. No, John's that this has been a good defense for John given their foul trouble. Give it's a good at the elbow, kicks to the opposite side to Cox. That's going to be oh, they're going to have a travel before the foul. John has had three possessions now with just a one point deficit, unable to get any points. And they missed the Pearson. Pearson was wide open down the floor. in the lane forever there and they just didn't see him or no call. Pearson in the corner. He'll step in 15 footer off the side of the backboard. Cox gets it up to Davis. Ball no good. Morell gets the rebound. Walker looks to push. Gets it to right. Right spins on the baseline. Goes out of bounds off the roof county. John Harden will retain possession. A lot of contact. <laughs> Pearson inbound the ball for the Bulldogs. Walker open. He'll take a three. It's good. And John Harden takes their first lead since early in the first quarter. Walker with the three pointer. One minute to go in this quarter. And John, with this lineup, LaRue's on the floor. John just kind of collapsing. That's a heck of a pass right good there. Pass inside the good assist from Jeremiah Belton. Good now with six points. And we're all tied at 22. A low scoring game for both of these teams so far. Well, especially after the first quarter, because the first quarter had a little bit of pace to it. John Harden has scored nine points in this quarter, while the Hawks have only scored five. 12 seconds to go in the quarter. And Pearson will force up a three, no good. Wright gets the rebound. And his shot at the buzzer, no good. And so we'll go to halftime, all tied at 22. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television production. HGC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. We'll be back after this short timeout with first half stats and analysis and second half action. Turn Coca-Cola products into cash for the students of Hardin County Schools. Visit coke.com slash give slash schools on your computer or smartphone. Tap scan code. Scan the code with your camera or enter it manually. When you are finished, click submit. Help the Hardin County Schools by just scanning your Coca-Cola products. It's as easy as one, two, three.
Welcome back to Marion County High School here at the Roby Dome for tonight's fifth region boys championship game. All knotted at 22 after the first half of play. We'll go down scores here in just a moment. But Coach Quarter, what did you notice in the first half? It was really a tale of two different quarters. Well, this game is taking the look of a state tournament team, state tournament game because it's low scoring. It's kind of become possession by possession. That's the way games that Rep Arena ultimately become because it's just so much harder to shoot up there. And I think both teams, as we've seen, as many three-pointers that have been air balls tonight. I mean, you're hyped up. It's a little different environment. The ball's just not going in. It's become a really physical kind of a half-court game. I think Coach McCurry may have stumbled onto something, though, through foul trouble that has given LaRue County some problems, and that's that 2-3 zone because LaRue County was not very effective against that 2-3 zone the second half of the second quarter. With that being said, King was out of the game. He's their best three-point shooter, arguably their best player. So when he comes back in, because John's got serious foul trouble. you got Scott with three, you got Walker with two, Matthews with two. Um, so they're going to have to be real careful of how they, how aggressive they are defensively. While they did have some success a little bit with it with the run and jump, the two-three was their best defense, not even close. On the flip side of that, a little bit surprised that Coach Childers didn't go back to the one-three-one because they had a lot of success. Maybe we'll see it here. Don't know, but. The defense is going to win this game. I mean, because I don't think there's, you know, the first team to 40 might win this game. 30 points scored in that opening quarter, just 14 in the second quarter combined for both teams. Matthews gets it inside. He'll kick it to Walker. Scott takes it back out near midcourt. Mack inside to Matthews. Now to be Pearson for three. It's good. And that was against that 1-3-1, one, one, and they did a really good job getting, getting some paint touches and then working it out. Got Mickey a wide open three. On the court for the Bulldogs, it's Wright, Walker, Matthew, Scott, and Pearson. For the Hawks, it's King, Good, Davis, Atkins, and Cox, the starting five for both squads. And John goes back man to man. King turn around in the lane, it's good. The shot, what jumped up, shot it over Walker. That's King's first made basket now, has three points on the night. Dayless Cox led the Hawks in the first half with 10 points, all in that opening quarter. For John Harden, Mickey Pearson now with 12 points. He had nine at halftime. Scott able to get all the way inside, high up off the glass. It's good. Good drive. Coach McCurry not happy, though, as he ran back down the floor. He's wanting them to apply the pressure. And just as I say, this game has become a possession-by-possession possession game. We get seven points in the first minute. Pass inside to Good. He clears it out for Cox. Shot no good. That's going to go off Atkins. Oh, my. Mickey Pearson didn't touch the ball. No, because Atkins shoved him in the back. <laughs> he was out of the play. King to inbound the ball for the Hawks. And I'm surprised that's going to be a walk on Atkins. Surprised they didn't go right at Alex Matthews with the two fouls. I think Scott can hide it. Uh, in the guard position. The only problem with that is he likes to block shots and he likes to fly in there for rebounds and that's something he's just going to have to pick his spots. And now more like a 2-3 setup for the Hawks. Pearson will rise up for three. Off. Cox with the rebound. Even as long as Mickey is, Atkins, Atkins, Cox, and Good are all equally as long, hard to shoot over top of them as they miss Davis and then through a late pass that goes out of bounds. 5.51 to go here in the third quarter. 27-24 a score, John Harden on top. The lead has never been bigger than four for either team. Pearson will step inside the three-point line. 15-footer is good. They ran that, ran him off a double screen down at the bottom, and now John comes with a little more run and jump. Able to get it to good, good, not a bad ball handler for a big man. Down low to Atkins. Gives up to Davis. It's good. Davis's first man. 
B. Walker to the punch there, and Coach Childers wants a timeout. It'll be a 30. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, eTownApartments.com, Bluegrass Cellular, eTown Exterminating, and West Point Bank. Tune in weekly for rebroadcast of all local HCC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184. You can always search our past broadcast on our YouTube channel. Just search HCC TV. Back to the 131 for LaRue County with Cox out on the top. Walker picked up his dribble in a bad spot. And then. They kick ball, stay with the Bulldogs. They had Matthews wide open in the middle right there. It's one of the things that's kind of strange because you have success getting it to Matthews, and then they come down and forget to send it into the to the free throw line to Matthews. Right on the baseline. Walker open for three. Thought he was going to take it right, able to gather the ball in. He goes up against Good. No good. Gets his own rebound. Right back up. No good. Ball tipped around. That goes off of Davis. And it'll stay with the Bulldogs. Lucky right there because uh, Walker got in the air. Nowhere to go. And I think he was going to shoot that three. And Atkins comes out. And again, it's length that I don't think a lot of people are used to out of a guard. Pearson pump fakes, gets on the baseline. 10-foot runner, no good. Right with another offensive rebound. Three on this trip. Missed inside. Pearson gets the rebound. No good. Ball knocked free. Right rebound, and he'll be going to the line. And Wright has made <laughs> He's decided he's going to the glass. Mark Good, his first. Oh, they're going to say it's on Cox. 34. His first team's first. In the first game these two played back on December 19th, Malik Wright had 20 points and six rebounds in that ball game. He's had six rebounds in the last minute and 10 seconds uh, in this one. The, the other thing that that he he can do and we don't see him a lot. He just so he's so quick off the floor and you saw it right there. And, and now he gets a steal. On the inside, it's good. John Harden switched up their press, went to a little 1-2-1-1, one, 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 got a trap, a quick turnover, and there's a, oh, almost, almost another. another one. King gets in, that's going to be on Matthews. Matthews jumped in the air, got the bump. That'll be his third, team's first. And that'll send King back to the line to shoot two. King was one for two in the first half from the line. We're exactly at the midway point of this third quarter. Kendrick Weathers back into the lineup for the Hawks. Goes man to man now. Pearson gets it good, switches to him. Pearson will be going to the line. Follows up number 34. Cox going to pick up his six. Six second. Good break. Yeah, he can't get it out. change the rules. And six. This will be Pearson's first trip to the line tonight. <laughs> and I'm gonna make here allow John Harden to set their full court pressure again. Just straight, straight man, and they'll look to run and jump as soon as it crosses half court. King puts speed on, gets down to the baseline, gives it up to Atkins. Going to be blocked by Walker. Walker unable to get to it. King retains possession for the Hawks. 
John Harden fans wanted a foul, and the LaRue County, or wanted to travel, and LaRue County fans wanted the foul. Cox at the free throw line. That'll be short, good with the offensive rebound, baby hook, no good, ball knocked around. Weathers gets it back out to King, and King will reset the offense. Both Third. Wright and Scott did a good job closing out there. Thirty-five, twenty-eight. John Harden on top. Two fifty to go here in the third quarter. Atkins down low. That was on Pearson. It's good. The bigger body there. He just kind of pushed Mickey under the basket. That'd be Pearson's first. Team second. Atkins with the main basket. He'll go to the line. Atkins now with six points on the night. Pearson gets in, he'll throw it up at the basket. The foul on the Rue County. Pearson will be going back to the line. This will be on good. That'll be his first, team's third. And that was, it was a good, good play call by Coach Curry. They set the screen at the top, and LaRue switched. He had good on Pearson. And that one long. Morrell checks in for Matthews. See if John Hart maybe switches defense and goes back zone. Pearson long on both. Weathers with the rebound. And they will go back to that 2-3. King catches it in stride. Three on the way, no good. Walker with the rebound. Walker drives all the way to the basket, no good. Weathers and Wright going out. Now it's going to be a tie up between Cox and Wright, and it'll be possession to the Hawks. Wild shot by Walker there. 154 to go here in the third quarter. At the completion of tonight's game, we will have the presentation of the all tournament team and then the presentation of the fifth region runner-up and championship trophies. Good 15-footer on the way. It's long. Pearson with the rebound. Had Scott out in front of all the Hawks, unable to get to him. Right, gonna drive inside. Morrell actually got in front of him. Yeah, he just right, the bucket. He's really good going right, and they let him get there, split defenders. And seven point lead in this game is a lot of points. John back to that little tandem two three zone that they like to play. King gonna come around off the double screen to the corner. Wright did a good job getting out. Morrell did a good job covering up good after he set the screen. That's, That's going to be on Cox. He extended his left arm as he was dribbling the ball. That'll be his third, team's fourth. Trayvon Harris back into the lineup for the Bulldogs. If I'm Coach McCurry, I'm trying. I'm I'm trying to get the last shot of this this half. Atkins just now coming out beyond the three-point line. And Wright's a plenty good ball handler. And if John Harden has a stall play, this is it. Run to one be side. Careful not to get trapped there. This is a tough spot for Harris just coming off the bench. 
10 seconds to go. Seven seconds. Now Wright gonna put it in gear, drives into the lane. Finger roll, no good. Pearson with the putback, no good. And that will bring our third quarter to a close. John Harden takes a seven point lead, 37-30 over the Hawks. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. The locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Rankley, Brandenburg, Bartstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. eTownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a tour today at etownapartments.com. Bluegrass Cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works online at bluegrasscellular.com. Etown Exterminating 270-737-6900 online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Rackers, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown baking made simple online at westpointbank.com. As we come out of the quarter, the ball will belong to the John Harden Bulldogs. And Coach Porter, what they do in that quarter? They just got really aggressive going to the basket. I thought Wright was huge with some rebounds, good drives to the basket. Uh, they were just more aggressive. Uh, I, thought, I thought LaRue kind of settled. Uh, settled for some contested shots down there. Didn't really get the ball inside like they had been. Uh, be interesting to see LaRue comes out man to man, see if maybe John Harden stays with that 2 3 zone as they've had some success with it. LaRue really getting aggressive against the John Harden guards. Pearson pulls up for a three, no good. Not the shot they wanted. King going to get to the other end, and he gets the bucket. King down with seven points on the night. Quick three for John. Slow to get back, and King does a good job. That ball went off Mark Good, and it'll stay with the Bulldogs. I think in the man-to-man, -man, I think Malik Wright is the one they really yeah. need to go to. As Cox seems to draw the, the assignment of drawing Pearson, but I think it's right off the dribble. It's so much quicker. Now it's Mark Good who's gotten Pearson. The net on the basket is kind of popped. I think if you're John Harden, you don't mind that. As long as they can get the ball in. Get it into Walker. Pearson inside. Cox on him. The give to right. They say the ball was on the baseline. Turn over to the Hawks. John were a little rushed here these first two possessions of the fourth quarter when they don't need to be. You know, seven-point lead with the pace this game was being played. You just had to take good shots, take care of the basketball. Pass it around the outside. Cox gets into the lane and gets the bucket. His first point since the first quarter gets him to 12. And just a three-point lead now for the Bulldogs. Shane King picks up his third, team's fifth. Pearson. Coach Childers smartly 
this as a timeout. Calls his team over. They'll get that and wipe it off. I'll just be honest. If they don't, we got another jersey for you. Yeah. 6.25 to go here in the ball game. Three-point lead for John Harden. Again, on the line is a berth in the Sweet 16. Opening round game for the fifth region will be against the 15th region, which is being played tonight also. Johnson Central and Pikeville going at it. That will be on Wednesday, March the 14th at 8 p.m. And with that, Coach John McCurry going to take a full timeout. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. E-TownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Again, for HCC TV tonight, our uh, last ball game, basketball game of the season. Check the local listings is when we will start our spring sport events, typically after spring break. As we will have baseball, softball, and track action during our spring. Looks like Mickey Pearson will wear zero now. And unless that rules change, you used to be able to you used to be able to clean blood. You didn't have to take a timeout. Well, I mean, they had let good. They gave him about 30 seconds when he had some blood in the first half of play. Now Trayvon Harris actually, John Harden only has four of their spots in. Trayvon Harris checked into the ball game for Pearson during that timeout. And now I think Malik Wright, because that's a walk by Matthews, going to get to the bucket. It's good. Yeah, he got away with a huge travel right there. Six minutes to go here in the ball game. John back into the 2 3. Good in the short corner. Back. They're going to skip past to King. He'll pull up for a three. Off the mark there, Walker with the rebound. Have your John back it out and run some clock. You need you need a stoppage though, because you really want to get Pearson back back in the game. John Harden running some flex now. They'll run people off baseline screens and look to free somebody for a layup. Right, going to get it out near the three-point line. <laughs> and I, I didn't know how long you would wait. And now they will take a full timeout with 5.08 to go in the ball game. Again, up by five. Tune in weekly for all our rebroadcast here on HCC TV, airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184, and you can always search our past broadcast on our YouTube channel, just search HCC TV. Again, we'd like to thank CJ Carroll for making tonight's broadcast possible as he is a one-man show tonight. Coach Porter and I just sit here and get to announce the game. For John Harden and LaRue County, again, they played each other on December 19th. It was a 20-point victory by the Bulldogs. Pearson had 22 that night and Wright with 20. And really the difference were those two in the ballgame. Ja'Kai Walker with 12 points. Right now in the ballgame for John Harden, Malik Wright has nine, Aaron Scott with five, Mickey Pearson has 16, Alex Matthews with six, and Ja'Kai Walker with three for the Hawks. Shane King has seven, Noah Davis with three, Anthony Atkins with six, Dallas Cox with 12, and Mark Good with six. An odd spot to have to take the ball inbounds. Scott to inbound the ball for the Bulldogs. Gets it into Pearson. And there's almost a steal. Oh, he that ball was tipped. That was a bad call.
Five minutes to go. And one of the things this 2 3 has done, it's taken time off the clock as yeah. LaRue County has. LaRue hasn't been real good about it because they, they played just around the perimeter. Now finally they get a touch inside. I believe that's going to be on Pearson. It will be on Pearson again. Mickey Pearson now wearing number zero. There was blood on his uniform. His second, team's third. Atkins at the line. He's two for three on the night. Cuts it back to a three-point ball game. Scott about to be jumped by Weathers. They're able to get it to Walker. Pearson puts it on the deck. He gets to the bucket. It's good. And good. Kind of got out of the way there. Fine, good at the free throw line and pull up, no good. Pearson had the rebound, loses it over to Weathers. Weathers able to get it back out. I believe we're gonna have a foul on Weathers. Not on him, but he was fouled. I believe that's on Alex Matthews. That's his fourth, team's fourth. As we hit the four minute mark of our ball game. Alex Matthews going to get the steal. And just a layup for Matthews. Smart play. No reason to try to dump that. And Coach Childress now will take a time, I think, a timeout. Oh, we got a bench warning. Or <laughs> I think it's the water. No. We've got a bench warning. Nope. We've got a manager that's been told to go sit in the student section. <laughs> <laughs> Preston Morrell back into the lineup for the Bulldogs. And now I think yeah. Dallas Cox has blood on him. And, and now John Harden will steal a timeout back as this kind of works to both coaches' advantages. You know, we see this, I'd say once every three weeks. <laughs> We've never seen three in one game. Yeah. Well, it's been, I will, I will say, Bobby, and that's the one thing I talked to Mark Wells. Principal John Harden just briefly at the half. I said this game's physical. I mean, they these are you know Larue's got a bunch of big bodies. Um, John's got length. They don't have a lot of width. Um, but there's been some beating and banging around here. Speaking of Mark Wells, he was inducted before the game into the Fifth Region Hall of Fame, and he has been a part of every John Harden basketball team that has gone to the state tournament once as an assistant with Artie Braden then twice as a head coach of the Bulldogs. And now we got another stoppage to clean somebody else up. It's Kendrick Weathers now that they're going to attend to. Getting the winner of tonight's game. They will have eight days off until they will play next Wednesday night as they will take on the winner of Johnson Central and Pikeville out of the 15th region. Ball game at Rupp Arena at 8 o'clock on Wednesday night. And I can tell you, 8 o'clock any night at the state tournament is a fun night. We is were it, talking it, about it coming in. 1988, the last time that LaRue County went to the Sweet 16, and they played on Friday night at 8 o'clock against Clay County in what is still the most most people. attended session of the I was about I was I don't I was 15 16 years old and it was a huge crowd I mean I just I remember it like it was yesterday Richie Farmer for Clay yep. County I mean it was it was something else Lou had a really good team with Scott Bowley and Jason Reuter um, and the the thing about you know you say the eight days but it, it allows you to do something with your team you can really give them off 
You know, you may come in, you'll start getting film. Everything's via the internet now. You don't have to drive anywhere and get film on whoever wins the 15th. Fifth region really got a pretty good draw. I think they play the, the 15th and then they'll play probably it looked like the 11th, um, which will be a pretty good team. But um, it's a good draw for either one of these teams, whoever ends up because both of these teams are built for some success at the state tournament because they don't rely on jump shots. Uh, they could both win it, go up there and win a couple of games and be, be playing on Saturday morning. Kendrick Weathers has a new number. He'll be number 21. His pass down low to good. Gets the bucket and the foul on right. And that is the first time really in the second half we've seen them go to the low block. They did a good job getting the ball to good there. Malik Wright picks up his first, team's fifth. Matthews right back into the ball game for the Bulldogs. Good now with eight points. Make it nine. And we're back to a four-point ball game. Now some more full court pressure from the Hawks. And quickly, John Harden calls a timeout as Aaron Scott, one of the primary ball handlers, was, was all the way basket. down the floor. Yeah, and, and this is where that timeout Coach McCurry had to burn to get um, Pearson back in the game because now I think you're left with, uh, they have 130 or maybe one full. But LaRue County with three timeouts, John Harden with one, and they're all full timeouts. 3.35 to go here in the ball game. A four-point lead, 43-39. John Harden on top. At the end of the first quarter, it was LaRue County on top by four, 17 to 13. At halftime, we were all tied at 22 apiece. In the third quarter, the Bulldogs outscored the Hawks 15 to eight to take a seven-point lead, 37 to 30. And then now the Hawks have cut it by three down to a four-point lead for the Bulldogs. Again, this will be our final basketball game of the basketball season here at HCC TV. Stop Check. talking that way. You're going to bring a tear to my eye, Bobby. <laughs> Check our li <laughs> local listings. <laughs> after spring break, we will have baseball, softball, and track action in the Hardin County area. I may have to make a guest appearance at baseball or softball to just uh, evaluate some of the uh, umpires, see how they're doing in our area. Welcome anytime to the booth. <laughs> Obviously, as your daughter will be playing for the Trojans. And now it's the LaRue County faithful rising to their feet. Coach Childress being the biggest cheerleader of the night for the Hawks. And Walker oh my. travels as he was bumped and picked up his. He was bumped. He, he, he took it exactly where LaRue wanted him to go. And yeah, there was a little contact there, but he was trapped. Now in the arena here, it feels like all of the momentum is on the side of the Hawks. This will stay with the Hawks. As we have a tie up on the floor between Walker and Atkins. A LaRue County ball right in front of their bench. John stays in that zone. Matthews with the four fouls continues to basically fall around whoever's in the lane. King will take a three. It's good. And he doesn't get it off real quick, but John didn't get out. He knocked it down. We got a one point game here. That was the first three pointer of the night by the Hawks. Get it inside to Matthews, loses control of it. It's going to go off John Hartman back over to the Hawks. And they will have an opportunity to take the lead. John Harden here in this fourth quarter, a little out of sorts. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't looked real comfortable. The pressure from Lou's actually bothered them. And King will take another three. This one off the back there, and that's going to be on good. That'll be his second, team six. From this point on, the Bulldogs will be in the bonus. But that allows LaRue to set their set their defense. And like I said, John's had a little trouble with this. They got to keep the ball out of the corners. Walker and Scott will be the primary ball handlers up the court. 
Scott gets a pass midcourt and then has to pull it up, gives it to Pearson. We're going to stand up and announce this game. It's <laughs> all the faithful for John Harden stand up, along with the faithful from LaRue County. Pearson puts it on the deck, gets all the way to the basket. And again, that's good. the second time. Good. All he's got to do there is slide over and either take a charge and try to block a shot. He gets out of the way. Pearson gets all the way to the rim. Pearson with 20 points now. So bring him back around. Weathers for three. It was online. Good gets the rebound for the Hawks. Good pass from Cox to Atkins. Nice Dino. pass inside. Coach Childress going to take a timeout. Back to a one-point lead for the Bulldogs. Atkins gets into double digits with 10 points. Be a full timeout. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC-TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical therapy associates, more personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. Etownapartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Bluegrass Cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. Etown exterminating 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Coach 126 to go here in the ballgame. A one-point lead for the Bulldogs. They have the basketball. What are they going to need to do? Well, they're... <laughs> They've had trouble running the clock. They've had trouble holding on to the, you know, the ball. Thing is, next foul, they're shooting free throws. So you don't stall, obviously, in a one-point game, but you're going to you want you. The last thing he told them, guys, we got to get a good shot. He also told them, we got one timeout left. If you get in trouble, don't be afraid to use it because, obviously, possession is a big deal right now. Pearson and Scott come back down to help as Matthews will inbound the ball to Walker. Cox and Weathers out in front for the LaRue County defense. Walker this time keeps it in the middle. And he walked again. Picks it up. With all of his momentum going in one direction. And a turnover. And LaRue County again with an opportunity to take the lead. That's twice he's dribbled right into the trap. And I hope the folks at home can see and not just see the back of my head. Weathers skip pass to Cox. And Coach Childress now going to take a timeout with 1.01 to go here in the ball game. And now both teams will just have one timeout apiece as we get to this final minute. And you know, how fitting the two best teams in the region get down here and you know, just a one-point game. With it's it's to going to be interesting to see here if, Coaches do this all the time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Would not shock me to see Coach Curry go to something else. Go to another defense right there. Something, maybe even something he hasn't even played tonight. We've seen him play some 1-3-1. One, one. Just throw something at LaRue. Where when Because Coach Childress is in there right now. He's probably drawn up two plays. He's drawn up something against a 2-3 and then something against a man-to-man. -man. So do they do something different and come out and show something different uh, just, just to make them maybe burn their final timeout? Because now each team with one timeout. Uh, it's kind of a chess game here, and this this is be interesting to see if maybe John switches out of something uh, out of that two three into their man to man. Forty five, forty four, our score here. One minute, one second to go. Matthews tried to get the ball. Well, it was a good try. It's and the and they, they gave them the ball. I think the ball should be out on the side, actually. As, they, as John does look like they're going to go man to man, and LaRue will go right back to that play where they put two bigs. Good to inbound the ball. Pearson in front of him. One minute 
King gonna drive inside. It's a charge. Yeah. Alex Matthews with the four fouls. Stands tall when Actually, he has that was to. right. Stood in there and took it. And we sit again. Curry does a good thing, switches defenses, and, and that was a that was an easy call. There wasn't even debate. Coach Childers didn't even he didn't even contest that one. Shane King picked up his fourth. Now again, run and jump, and Aaron Scott loses it off his leg, and a turnover to the Hawks. 40.9 seconds to go. John Harden dodging some bullets here that Larue County hadn't capitalized on these last two turnovers. Kai Walker on Shane King, Aaron Scott on Weathers. Wright has Dallas Cox, Matthews on Atkins, and Pearson on Good. Atkins gets it, pulls his way in, and Larue County takes the lead with 20 seconds to go. Anthony Atkins with his 12 point. Mickey Pearson with the ball. Dribbles inside, gives it up to Aaron Scott. Aaron Scott puts the Bulldogs back on top. And Coach McCurry tried to get a timeout. They don't get it. Eight seconds to go. Kendrick Weathers, 15 footer off the iron. Ja'Kai Walker grabs it and just holds on to it. And there'll be a foul on Kendrick Weathers with 1.4 seconds to go. Ja'Kai oh. Walker should be going to the line. to shoot the one and the bonus. We had some fans run on the court a little prematurely. And I'm not sure what the stoppage is for here. It's a one and one. Four seconds to go. You have to imagine Mark Good just told the official if he misses it, we are calling an immediate timeout. If he makes them both, it would be a three point lead. Watch the first one down. And this is a big one right here. This 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 changes the whole and Coach Childress wants a timeout. I'd say either way here. When rattles out, they call an oh. immediate timeout. There should have been just a little bit of time go off the clock. There's 1.4 when he shot. The clock's got to at least start. The officials talking it over. Looks like they're going to go to. Yeah, the, the clock's at least got to start. And we'll wait and see what they decide. They're talking to the clock operator. Now it's going to be 1.1 seconds. Three tenths goes off the clock. It'll be LaRue County basketball. They're going to have to go to the full court. And they can't they can't move. Uh, that's another, obviously, makes it tough. The thing about LaRue is they've got some big kids. They can put good down there to throw a length of the court pass, probably throw it all the way to the basket. They're going to, it's going to catch and shoot, not really much time. You might get one dribble, but you never know how quick the, the clock operator gets excited over there. He starts it too soon. Uh, be interesting to see if after Coach after Coach McCurry sees the alignment for John Harden, if they uh, if they maybe call use their last time out just to adjust to it. Do you cover the inbound pass? Yes, absolutely, 100%. I, I'm 100% in that camp. Even, you know, you, I would say that's why Morrell's in the game. I think you either put Morrell, and I'd put Pearson back because Pearson's a quicker jumper than Morrell. He can go up and intercept something. I'd put Morrell on the ball, Mickey back, uh, Matthews back, right, right back to match up. Were you in the John Harden huddle? No, I'm just really smart. <laughs> No, it's a that's a good that's a good call with with this with a little more time sometimes you may not cover it, but uh, with this amount of time left now, Coach Curry gonna take his final timeout. And and John Arnold will take that 1.1 seconds to go. Dallas Cox had come out and was going to be the inbound passer for the Hawks. And they they set three uh, Lure County set three along the free throw line on the opposite end, one at mid court. I would say they're going to the, the man at midcourt's going to go set a screen on somebody, try to pop somebody up. It's just a it's a catch and shoot. One of the assistants. 
assistant coaches is now talking to the official about the, why it's 1.1. Yeah, seconds. that's because they weren't paying attention when they did it. I mean, and it's the right thing. It, it, the ball, there has to be time. There can't be no time uh, that came off on that free throw. Yeah, I'm glad now we have the modern clocks where you can actually set it to one. Yeah, because there are many times when we played, they would start it at a minute and yeah, run it down try to and run it to stop it. Yeah, and it, and it never worked. Uh, Cox continuing to go down. And now it looks like three LaRue County Hawks will line up across the midcourt strike. A little different alignment as he moved, moved his kids up. Pearson back. You don't want to get beat. Now they'll, now they'll move back. And Here Morrell doing his best to. Cox throws it three quarters of the court. Throws it out, throws of, it bounds. out of bounds. And now it'll be John Harden's basketball in that same spot. And all they've got to do is get it in. They, well, they got to get it in. Um, and they can't walk out of bounds as a Louisville fan. I saw yeah. that last week. Just now getting over it. Um, so right got to stay still. And hopefully I just lob it up. It's tipped there. And that'll do it. And John Harden will win the fifth region title and go to the state tournament with a 48-46 victory over the LaRue County Hawks. This is a Hardin County Education and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. E-TownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Going down from scoring from tonight, first for LaRue County. Shane King finishes with 10. Noah Davis with 3. Anthony Adams with 12. Bayless Cox with 12. Mark Good with 9. For the Bulldogs, Malik Wright had 9. Aaron Scott with 7. Mickey Pearson with 20. Alex Matthews with 8. And Ja'Kai Walker with 4. That was an exciting ball. That, that's, what a, that's what a region final is supposed to be. Uh, you know, you get the two best teams here, and uh, they, they, they just they both play their hearts out. I mean, it, you know, you, you always hear this, but it's really true. It's a shame either one, you know, Rue had to lose because the valiant effort, Children, Coach Children's staff did a great job, and it wasn't easy for John because they, they, they tried, they really struggled handling the ball down the stretch. But uh, they make just enough plays, and wow, what a finish. And again, we will keep it here while they do the naming of the all-tournament team. There'll be four players from John Harden, three players from LaRue County. There will then be an award for each of the John Harden Bulldogs, and then we'll have the presentations of the team trophies, fifth region runner-up and the fifth region championship trophy. Again, the Bulldogs will move on to the Sweet 16 next Wednesday, March the 14th at 8 o'clock. They will take on the winner out of the 15th region, which is between Johnson Central and Pikeville. And good to see students here. I mean, both, both teams, I don't know how many pet buses they brought, but they brought a bunch because there's a section of bleachers on each side uh, filled up with students, and they were they were into it. And there in that fourth quarter, you, it, it starts off a seven-point lead for John Harden, and LaRue County actually takes a lead with under a minute to go. And uh, I will say this, if, if we had asked who was going to make the winning buckets, <laughs> you would not have said Aaron Scott, as uh, he is. We're going to recap the makes the, uh, the, reflected to the, the fifth region bucket that gave him a one-point lead. If you are in attendance, you are invited to join Mr. Holt at half court. This past week, from Bardstown, Montrez Brady. From Caperna, Joby Howard. From Bethel, Wayne P. From Central Harden, Chase Elmore. 
from Campbellsville, Tosh Sanders. From Campbellsville, Manatai Corley. From Adair County, Corey Milton. From Adair County, Zion Harmon. And now selected to the all-tournament team this evening. From LaRue County, Anthony Atkins. From LaRue County, Dallas Cox. From LaRue County, Mark Good. From John Hart, Malik Wright. From John Hart, Mickey Pearson. From John Hart, Alex Matthews. And from John Hart, Jakai Walker. So, Dayla Scott, Anthony Atkins, Mark Good, all from LaRue County, named to the all-tournament team. All three of those players will actually be back, as there are only three seniors for LaRue County. Johnny Key, Shane King, and Kendrick Weathers. For the Bulldogs, named to the all-tournament team, it's Mickey Pearson, Malik Wright, Alex Matthews, and Ja'Kai Walker. And the guy that makes the winning basket, I'm sure he'll take, he'll be fine with not making that all-tournament team. But. Presentation of the fifth region runner-up trophy to the LaRue County Hawks, who will finish the season 29 and 3. And now we'll have an award for each of the John Harden Bulldogs, or I wonder if they'll just give them the trophy and give them <laughs> their plaques to take them. And now individual trophies to the Bulldogs of John Harden. Number one, Malik Wright. Number two, Aaron Scott. Number zero, Mickey Pearson. Number four, Alex Matthews. Number 10, Terrion Davis. Number 12, Trevon Harris. Number 20, Deshaun Johnson. Number 23, Ja'Kyle Walker. And number 32, Preston Merrill. And now, to present the game ball to head coach of the John Hart Bulldogs, Coach Jared. And now for the championship trophy of the 2018 boys fifth region basketball tournament to the John Hart Bulldogs. For additional information on HCC TV programming, call 270-769-8855 or email gina.ryan at harden.kyschools.us. On behalf of HCC TV, we would like to thank all of our live sports coverage sponsors.